In this video, we are going to take a look at the Big Blue, a steel hulled long range explorer yacht that is currently listed for sale with ExpeditionYachts.com. Make sure you stay tuned because in this video, as well as having a look around this exquisite explorer yacht, we'll also be checking out her engine room and pilot house. Before we get started, please give the video a like and if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. The Big Blue was built by Troy Marine in 2009 and was delivered to her owner in 2010. She has a beam of 27 feet and 7 inches, which is 8.41 meters, and a maximum draft of 8 feet and 6 inches, which is 2.59 meters. Starting on the bow and heading aft along the bridge deck, you are greeted with a Portuguese bridge that in turn leads to the wide port and starboard side decks that take you all the way aft to a large alfresco dining area. A quick glance at the general arrangement of the bridge deck gives you some idea of the sheer amount of space aboard the Big Blue and how the symmetrical configuration on her upper deck maximises all available areas. Her teak decks are in fantastic condition and these expansive side decks ensure that moving around the upper deck spaces aboard the Big Blue is a breeze. Ascending down some stairs onto the main deck, note the grab rails on the high gunnels and the superstructure. Moving around the upper deck of this Explorer yacht, when she is making progress through big seas, is much safer thanks to these well placed and well thought out safety features. As you will see later on in the video, the large windows of the saloon ensure that the living areas aboard the Big Blue connect her to her surroundings. On the aft section of the main deck we find a seating area that can also be turned into a dining area and the port and starboard entrance on the transom which leads down onto the beach club area. To port there is a refrigerator, ice maker and shoe storage. Keeping to starboard we ascend 12 steps and emerge onto the vast bridge deck, passing a storage space for the vessel's life rafts. The large table can comfortably seat up to 10 people with a sofa lounging area aft. What a fantastic spot to have your meal before retreating to the lounging area to enjoy some drinks as the sun sets behind you. Next, let us head up onto the vast flybridge deck. This is just one of many areas aboard the Big Blue that I am confident you will be incredibly impressed by. Between the two masts is a barbecue, sink and concealed dishwasher with a seating area for it. The two masts have a large amount of storage space. They both have new built-in cabinets with a height of 900 millimeters. The port mast is used as storage for the water slide. As we head forward on the flybridge deck, we find another seating area with a large whirlpool flanked by several sun pads. You can imagine relaxing here with your family and friends enjoying a dip in the whirlpool as you chat about where next in the world to visit. If this was your explorer yacht, where would you go and why? Let me know in the comments below.
Time to head aft and look at the boat deck, which, as you can see by the general arrangement, can also be used as a helicopter deck. The large knuckle crane is located amidships, meaning that both the port and starboard tenders can be launched and recovered easily and quickly. There is enough space on this bow deck to house a 22 foot tender to port and a 17 foot tender to starboard. I love these brig ribs and I can just imagine how much fun can be had exploring the coastline aboard one of these capable boats. Not only are they fast but they are incredibly seaworthy as well. Before heading down to the accommodation areas and interior spaces, it is worth having a look over the stern of the Big Blue to get an idea of her volume and of course to check out the amazing view. From this perspective you get a real sense of how big the heli and boat deck is. Let's now head aft and check out the interior spaces of the main deck. As you enter the main saloon to port is a large L-shaped sofa with a coffee table and carpeted area. Opposite is a game table with two lounge chairs. The game table also has a flip down TV that faces the L-shaped sofa. Moving forward we pass a china cabinet to port. To starboard is a bar with an ice maker, fridge and wine cooler. The dining table has space for 12 guests. Moving forward a powder room is located opposite the main foyer. And now we enter the owner's stateroom area, passing the enclosed galley to port before emerging into the owner's carpeted walk-in closet. Continuing forward, we enter the spectacular owner's stateroom. The king-size bed is on a raised platform that is 150 millimeters off the floor. On the port side are a lounging area and a vanity desk. One of the benefits of having a full beam master stateroom is that you also have a full beam owner's bathroom with a large shower amidships flanked by his and her sinks as well as his and her toilets all on marble floors. The shower also doubles up as a steam room and has a seating area. I love the indirect lighting in here and how the light creates such a relaxing area. The large privacy windows also allow lots of natural light into this space. Time to head back aft into the main saloon and head upstairs to the Sky Lounge, which has a lounging area, a classroom for the owner's children and a ship's office with a glass partition. The bridge deck is also where we will find the captain's cabin, the radio room and, of course, the pilot's house. The L-shaped sofa is on the port side as we enter the Sky Lounge. 
Forward is the classroom for the owner's children and to starboard is the ship's office and the captain's cabin forward. Opposite the L-shaped sofa is a large drop-down TV. The classroom has a large smart board on the forward bulkhead with some cabinets on the port side. This is the first time that I have come across a classroom aboard a super yacht and as a father of two young children, I can imagine how fantastic it must be to teach your children about the world whilst motoring aboard a long range explorer yacht. Forward of the classroom and on the port side is another powder room. Heading back towards the pilot's house, the captain's cabin can be found on the starboard side. It benefits from an ensuite that has a shower and a bathtub. Later in the video, when we look around the crew quarters, you will notice this high quality and luxurious finish in there too. Opposite the captain's cabin is the radio room that also houses the AV rack. And now let's head forward and have a look inside the pilot's house. There are five large multi-function monitors on the helm position displaying all of the vital navigation, engine management and radar information. Behind the helm are a ship's communication station and a bookshelf that houses various ship's manuals. There's also ample space on each side of the helm station for paper charts. Access to the upper deck is made easy thanks to the doors on both the port and starboard side. The controls for the ship's engines and steering are located on a center island that extends between the captain and navigator's chairs. To starboard is a table and sofa for anyone who wants to come and enjoy the view whilst the vessel is underway or at anchor. I love how everything is laid out and how all vital controls are within easy reach of the captain and navigator positions. But what do you think of the pilot's house? Let me know in the comments below. Now all that is left is for us to check out the galley accommodation and crew accommodation areas and of course the engine room. The Big Blue has a total of 5 staterooms and can sleep 12 guests. There are also 4 crew quarters, providing a total of 7 crew berths. The large VIP stateroom is enormous, with plenty of hanging locker and storage space. The great use of indirect lighting throughout the boat creates a very warm, cosy and inviting atmosphere. And yes, in case you haven't noticed yet, that is a pullout bed, albeit an extremely comfortable one. The VIP bathroom is equally as impressive with a large shower and his and her sinks. There are two twin single cabins aboard the Big Blue, each with its own ensuite. As we head towards the crew accommodation and mess area, to port there are a set of stairs leading up to a pantry area.
This is the starboard crew accommodation with the same layout as is found in the other two crew cabins. All of the crew cabins aboard the Big Blue have their own en suites. Before we check out the engine room, let us have a quick look inside the impressive galley. The galley has four freezers and three fridges, so there is plenty of storage for fresh food as you embark on long voyages to remote places. This immaculate and well laid out galley would not look out of place in a five star restaurant, which is all the more impressive when you take into account that this galley can not only withstand the rage of the seven seas but can also produce a truly exceptional range of dishes thanks to the highly talented chef. As we come to the end of this yacht tour, we head back out into the main saloon before heading aft and looking inside the Big Blue's engine room. If you love engine rooms, then you will love the engine rooms on this Explorer yacht. The crew can gain easy access to the engine room when on the aft section of the deck thanks to this large watertight door in the transom. The Big Blue is powered by twin diesel Volvo 750 horsepower D16 engines. They give her a cruising speed of 11 knots and a maximum speed of 13 knots. When motoring at her cruising speed, she has a range of around 4,300 nautical miles. She has a fuel capacity of 15,585 gallons with a water capacity of 5,019 gallons. Her tonnage is 399 tonnes. As you can see, her engine room is extremely well laid out. It never ceases to amaze me when it comes to how immaculate engine rooms aboard these sorts of vessels are. The high headroom combined with the spacious layout means that the marine engineers aboard the Big Blue have always got ready access to the vessel's engines and essential machinery equipment. But what do you think of this engine room? As ever, let me know in the comments below. If you are a marine engineer, then I can imagine having an engine room like this to work in must be a dream. But I can also imagine just how much work goes into ensuring that an engine room on a vessel this size is kept in this sort of pristine condition. It's one of the reasons why I have always had a massive amount of respect for marine engineers. At the time of making and uploading this video, the Big Blue is currently listed for sale with Expedition Yachts for 14.9 million US dollars. If you are a qualified buyer and you are interested in finding out more about this highly capable Explorer yacht, then I will leave the broker's email address in the video description. A big thanks to Expedition Yachts for sharing this footage with me so I could put this video together. If you haven't already, please give the video a like and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, then click on the link in the video description. If you have got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then feel free to get in contact with me. I'll leave my contact details in the video description. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.